first came in today, uh, you were almost as equally a big fanboy as I was. You were sure. looking through the racks, picking out trades, looking at the art books, looking uh, at everything. I love comics. Yeah. Now, everything that's out right now, what do you read currently? Uh, what do I read? Yeah. What do you like to follow? Uh, uh, I read so. everything that Graham Morrison does. Okay. Do you uh, like his new X-Men around? Sure, yeah. yeah awesome. It's brilliant. I, I, I don't, there's very little that he does that I don't like. Uh, he's just one of my favorites. I'll read anything that Mark Miller does. I'll read anything that Brian does. I'll read anything that Brubaker does. I love love Matt Fraction's work, obviously. Um, uh, I, I follow writers consistently. Cool. Like I, I don't, um, and then I'll I'll occasionally pick up books if, if I like the art. Like I'm picking up Detective right now, just for J H Wee and this, right? this stuff. Yeah. So that's kind of how I am with that. Cool. Now, if the comic book gods came down to you right now and they said, Jonathan. We are giving you the power to write any character, any story you want. The only catch is, is it can't be your own creations, and it can't be someone you're already writing, Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you write, and what would the story be? Uh, I'd do an X-Men book. I, you know, that's, I, I would either do an X-Men book or a Legion of Superheroes book. I, those were the two things. That and Teen Titans was, was what I read when I was growing up. and. Um, you know, I, I, that's an itch I'd like to scratch. Awesome. You know? And I work at Marvel, so that limits it to X-Men. But uh -huh. I'm, I'm sure I'll get a chance to do some X stuff down the line. And I've already dabbled a little bit. You know, they always ask me to do, like if they're doing little short stories or something like that. Um, they ask me to usually throw in throw in one, and I, I do. And who's, those are uh, who's your favorite X-Men? Uh, Cyclops. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Do you like the direction he's been taking in recently? Um... Kicking Professor X off the team. Oh, he's had it Almost coming. Almost like Magneto, right? Yeah, well, he's had it coming for a long time. For sure. I yeah. agree. So, um, I, I don't know. And um, Iceman, right? Iceman's the best. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like the whole mythology of the X-Universe. Um, I think that stuff is really special, and um, there's a reason why it was the biggest comics around for a long time. So. Awesome. If you had to pick one work that defines you the best as comic book creator Jonathan Hickman, mm. what would you say? Pax Romana, probably. Really? Yeah, probably Pax Romana. I mean, that's, that's um, not as designy as, as I would like for it to be, but that's the kind of story that I like to tell, I guess. Um, I could argue Nightly News, but um, I well, would say Pax Romana. Map, but yeah, awesome. So. What are you, what's your theory with sequential art, and how does that kind of fit in with what your vision of art is? Um, I, well, I mean, I, I believe that uh, personally, what I'm interested in, I, I think that there is a possibility of of the combination of information and and comic book storytelling. And I, you know, if the argument is is that that's not sequential art, uh, I disagree with that. But you know, that this is kind of my interpretation of it. Uh, but I believe that there's a whole lot more that we can do with that. I kind of touched on it a little bit with Nightly News, you know, kind of the, the, how the information is integrated into the design of the story that you're telling. Um, I think it can be, can be taken much further, and I, I'm going to continue to do that in my own, my own personal projects. So, um, but I, I, uh, I think it's an important thing. I think it's something we need to try and stretch the boundaries of a little bit more. So, in your opinion, uh, where is the comic book industry headed, especially with digital media now? Where do you see the comic book industry being, you know, a few years down the line here? Well, I think uh, creatively, uh, we're as good as we've been in a very long time. I'm, I'm very happy with a lot of the content. Uh, what we lack is a bigger audience, and an audience that I would argue that we deserve. Um, you know, I, and I think digital is going to open up a lot of new avenues for that. I, I, I personally am endorsing, um, you know, some of the stuff that's out there. I'm a big believer in Longbox, you know, that, that, that's going to be uh, debuting here soon. And I'm, I'm excited to be, um, I mean, I'm going to be releasing all of my stuff that I own on there. Um, I mean, I believe in it. I believe in it completely. I think it's uh, the future. I think it's good for stores because we'll be able to sell uh, more collections. Now, would it be free? Um, I, I think that's a, a question for you know creator by creator sure. you know, kind of deal. But I, I think it would be smart to give away the first issue for free. And if you got a six-issue miniseries and then you know pay ninety-nine cents for the other five, and you're going to end up making um, more money. <laughs> 
it'd be very easy to make more money on those five issues, uh, at, at, you know, really uh, multiple factors of the kind of money that you would make if it was in print. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's clear enough, but yeah, yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's a much more, if we can have um, just the market share that we have right now in comics, I think that's way too small. But if we have just the market share, but all books available, all books available, uh, and one third or one fourth the price, I, I think it's good. I think it's good for creators. I think more people, more people would buy more comics. So, and I am not opposed to that. So. <laughs> so, final question: What do we have to look forward to with you? I'm really excited about Plus, uh, which is kind of my indie work for the year. That's going to be coming out. Uh, December, I would guess. December, January at the latest. Uh, through Image? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. I mean, I'm not shopping it around. Mm -hmm. I, I'm playing around with the idea of just releasing it digitally. So I, I'm not sure, but uh, yes, probably Image. Um, that's going to be uh, three, 60 pages, and it's going to be uh, three 16 or 20 ish you know, pages per, per story. And it's going to be three separate stories illustrated in three different styles by me. Cool. So I'm pretty excited about that, and obviously Marvel stuff is is pretty cool right now. Yeah. So, yeah. And yeah. How, how long's your F4 run? Uh, I've got plotted until 600. Okay. But you know I I could get fired. Before then. <laughs> so it's always possible. Well, hey Jonathan, thanks for joining. Absolutely. Man. Anytime. Yeah. Great talking to you. Yep. Thank you.